Hi, this is Linda. I'm going to share my influences. I'll start with the old masters and then talk about the contemporary artists. My first one is by Osias Beard the Elder. The name of it I thought was kind of funny. Um, a still life of a roast chicken, a ham and olives on pewter plates with a bread roll, an orange wine glasses, and a rose on a wooden table. It shows that there is no refrigeration at that time, and the ham is beginning to spoil. You see the bug on the table, and that shows signs of that. And I thought it was interesting with that aspect as well as the reflection on the glasses. Here is Vermeer, Johannes Vermeer in the 17th century. This one's called The Astronomer in 1668. I saw this one in the Louvre when I went to Paris. Here is The Art of Painting, 1666. Dimensions are 47 by 39 inches. Michelangelo Maurice Caravaggio was a, an Italian Baroque painter. He lived in Rome, Naples, Malta, and Sicily in the 1590s to 1610. His paintings, we see the dramatic use of light with realistic observation. His chiaroscuro became to be known as tenebrism. This idea helps me darken my shadows and brightening the lights on my subject. You see the rotting fruit and the fading beauty talks about natural decay of life. I like his work a lot. There are so many to look at. All of his show the psychological realism on his figures. This one's called Love Conquers All and it was done in 1601. Fairfield Porter is an American painter from the San Francisco Bay Area. His is representational at the same time of the abstract expressionism. This one is Girl in the Woods and it was done in 1971. This one helped me loosen my brush strokes up a little and just start painting shapes more than lines. Paul Warner was a Bay Area artist also. This is called Untitled and was done in 1979. Carol Stewart is a, an influence. She went to Fontbonne University to get her MFA and I saw uh, an exhibition of hers over there last year. This is called Late Afternoon, February 72. Here's a more recent one called Red Painting. It's 48 inches by 60 inches. She's a still life artist and her paintings illuminate the themes by exploring color, pattern, texture, and rhythm. Cindy Wright is a realism painter that lives in Antwerp. She speaks on issues of killing and eating animals in her paintings. And they have a macabre twist. Festoons of Fruit and Fly is the title of this. It was done in 2017 and it's 76 inches by 50 inches. Nature Morte 2 was done in 2010 and this one is oil on linen. Exhibitions are all over the world, as Cindy writes. This is Janet Fish, Windex Bottles. She paints how the light bounces off of reflective surfaces. This one is also oil and linen and was done in 1972. This one just seems really contemporary with all the plastic 
It's called Box of Peaches and is 19 and a half by 25 and 3 fourths inches and pastel on paper. I found Patty Malka not too long ago. Um, I really like her brush strokes because they're so loose. This is called Shirley's Bulb and was done in 2011. Thank you.